Joining me from the Canadian Space Agency headquarters in Longue, Quebec, is astronaut David St. Jacques. Good morning. Uh, glad you could be with us. How do you feel about the kind of last minute um, postponement of the launch? Are you disappointed? Hey, Marcia. Hey, uh, well, there's two parts of it. The, the excited little boy in me is disappointed. I didn't see this fantastic rocket lift off. But the kind of sober-minded engineer in me is reassured that someone did their job and found about this problem uh, that, you know, who knows, might have prevented a bigger problem. Uh, so this is a test flight. We kind of expect, expect things like this to happen all the time during tests, pushing the system to its limit. And it really is the engineer's job to look around and look for, for problems. And someone did their job right and found a problem. So it's in the nature of things. This is the nature of this business. So disappointed, that way, reassured that uh, when we light the candle eventually, it will work well because we're being very diligent. How serious is this problem? Do you think they'll have it fixed in time for the next launch window, which is Friday? Yeah, so the next opportunity is uh, Friday, based on the position of the moon, on its orbit, and all that. Uh, so that's really in the hands uh, of the engineers. They're the ones uh, to assess uh, what the problem is in detail and uh, figure out a forward plan and determine, uh, you know, when is the, when are the safe uh, conditions. I don't know any details myself. I know we're talking about uh, one of the four main engines of the of the rocket. Uh, one of them in preparation for the launch. Uh, they couldn't they couldn't satisfy themselves with the temperature conditions as they were bleeding the the, the fuel into it. Uh, and so, out of precaution, probably uh, they decided to look into it to make sure that they understand what's uh, what's going on. We don't. This is the purpose again of these test flights is to push the system to its limit and uh, kind of reassure ourselves. Can you can I mean, it's unimaginable how complicated this rocket is, uh, and so many things have to work just right for the launch to be a success. Just uh, right. Yeah. Case, we like to make things. We like to make things look easy, but it's not easy to achieve. Yeah, there's no room for mistakes. So let's talk about the actual mission of Artemis. What is its aim? So this mission that we were hoping to launch this morning, uh, Artemis One, is part of a bigger series, the Artemis program, that will ultimately leave us, uh, lead us, lead mankind to uh, humankind to settle on the moon, not just go back for a little trip like we did for Apollo, but kind of settle in the moon environment and, uh, with a moon base uh, and a, a moon station called Gateway in which Canada is participating heavily. We're providing a robotic arm for that. And ultimately, this is to test technology so that we can one day dare venture even further to Mars. So this is really the beginning of a new era, a bit like we had, you know, the Apollo generation. So many of us who were inspired by the Apollo missions. Now we're on the dawn of the Artemis generation who will be inspired by, uh, by, these, by these missions. And once we get Artemis 1 off the launch pad and this kind of the last dress rehearsal of the system, then we'll turn our attention to Artemis 2. Mm -hmm. And this is important for Canada because there will be a Canadian Space Agency on board mission. Canada will be the second only nation to send someone uh, to the lunar environment with Artemis 2, the next mission, the first crewed mission. And we look forward to that.